Okay, sun hour analysis. Make sure your model is at the origin. First thing you need to check. I'm gonna close everything except my 3D model. Let's go into shaded view. It's not perfect, but what I want to do is check this bit here. Okay, this is my test square and this is my context. Okay, let's open Grasshopper. Okay, Sun Hour Study. Go into Ladybug and get the Ladybug Sunlight Hours Analysis. So this time we re reverse engineer our script. North, we don't need, it's given, the, the model is already in the right orientation. We need geometry. Let's get a B-Wrap. Yeah, B-Wrap. So, the geometry I want to test is my square. So, select, done. You can rename that. Um, and I want to hide my geometry here. So I can see the output better. And now we need the context geometry and we choosing all the buildings probably would only need the few around here maybe let's do that um, let's only choose these buildings here that will lower the calculation time now geometry context grid size that's the grid size of my analysis that means um, so my model is in meter i might want to have a grid size of 100 mil as a minimum for testing i recommend a bigger number so let's start with 10 so we can we have a slider which goes from 10 to 0 and maybe to make it foolproof we're gonna use 0 0.1 as a minimum okay that goes here we need to give it a small number a distance from the base that basically um, make sure that the, the calculation is done from the right side of the geometry the orientation study we, we can discuss another time okay we need definitely need sun vectors again if there's an underscore in front of the text that means this is data you need to um, provide so we need a sun vector let's go here and yes so if you don't know what the sun vector is you can always check sun vectors from the sun path component okay Let's get the sun path component. This is the sun path component. Now it's getting interesting. Okay, that would go here. Um, and then we also need to, we need a run it button just to turn it on and off. Let's have a toggle here, Boolean toggle. Um, run it, don't turn it on because that might be a bit fatal for this script and also maybe save your file just in case that's fine I'm, I can rebuild it so the sun path parameter also needs stuff you need the location we get the location from the weather data file or we can build it ourselves I like to use the weather data file because it's just easier. What we always need is the ladybug ladybug component, so I dropped it in. Then we need the weather file URL component and uh, the weather download, and we need the location, the ladybug import location component. We need a panel as well. So all these things I already showed. 
in previous uh, tutorials, but it's always good to repeat. Just go to my to the weather file. I'm gonna choose the location. Of course, choose the location of the site. Otherwise, it just doesn't make much sense. Copy link to clipboard. Copy in here. Don't press enter. Just click outside. Where the file is loaded. Connect the location, input location button, and then we can locate this here. Now you see it created um, already the sun path vector, and now we can we could in theory run our script because we have a sun vector. So let's do that. Yeah. And now what the issue is, is it's it's only recorded this specific hour and that doesn't really help us much it will not give us much uh, idea on how the sunlight is distributed on that square throughout a day for example most importantly now because we want to change something turn this off otherwise you run into problems believe me so we run we turn it off so you can even, if you want, uh, disable that whole component, so then nothing can happen. What we need is a, an analysis period, so we can calculate a whole day or a whole month or a whole year. Let's get the analysis period component. You can also search for it like this with double click, period, and then we can feed in sliders. This goes into here. And now you can see we have for each hour of that of the day the sun vectors. Let's keep that big so we see how long it takes. Keep the, the grid size big and then we can go smaller. Now we enable that again. So this was like just a double precaution. You don't have to do that. And then Let's see what's happening. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Okay, this, this doesn't look bad. We can then, of course, again, bake it with this component here. So we could uh, copy the toggle and then put connect it here with the bake it button and then just bake it and we'll uh, turn it off again. Turn this off again also. And now it created a, a folder system for me where this data is uh, stored and I could just turn off all the other things and have my sun light hours analysis let's go back here let's turn it, that off and um, increase our grid size let's run that uh, sorry decrease our grid size so it becomes a more accurate let's put it on one let's see how long it takes it's actually pretty good pretty quick um, here you can actually see the geometry is overlaying we can turn it off so we get a bit of, even a better result. Of course, we could um, change the always always turn this off. That's important. We can change now the period at the time. Let's check the whole month. Maybe let's keep the grid size a bit bigger. And let's run it. Yeah, that worked pretty well. Um, let's let's get a, a, a different month, maybe a more interesting month, where we have more shadows. Yes, that that works really good. So this this is very okay. 
one thing um, to explain about this this will not take any weather data in consideration so it will not give you an idea if um, if it's overcast or um, if it's just a blue sky it, it just gives you an idea on how how many hours you have potential direct sunlight so you can see here in February in this area there is zero direct sunlight we will do another study in the next uh, in the next video where we check this the sunlight radiation which actually takes the whole um, weather data in consideration in this study it will only gives you the direct sunlight on a specific surface that is very useful for example choosing the right uh, planting species for a certain area but it also can give you an idea if if an outdoor area is is comfortable interesting how much light do you have would people consider sitting there is it more comfortable in summer is the other areas where it's shaded and so on i just show you one more thing what you can do and this is pretty cool is to actually use the context at the same time as as the geometry so let's do that so you understand what i'm saying and i will turn this off again in theory take this whole thing put it into my geometry slot and in my context but I'm hiding it because I want to see the output I'm hiding it in, in Rhino and then later I will also hide this here so I see the result one more thing make sure that you check that your um, surfaces are flipped to the right direction that's that's good now I close that again uh, hide this again and let's run the calculation again that might now take a bit longer yeah that's it okay and now we turn it off now we have all our stuff here so this was the whole month and then yeah you can see also how many hours you actually have in these areas and of course you can then also move your arrange your things here a bit better my computer is not the latest stuff so everything is a bit slow here um, when your data is baked then um, the colors are also visible in the rendered view that's it sun hour study